For penalties for DUIs, that's what the parents of an Elizabethtown teenager killed by a drunk driver want to see in Kentucky. Todd Hilton was found guilty of murder in the 2014 death of 17-year-old Brianna Taylor. WLKY's Carolyn Callahan talked with the state senator working with Brianna's family to try and prevent similar tragedies. Brianna Taylor graduated high school just two weeks before she was killed in a DUI crash on Patriot Parkway. The man convicted of murder in her death had six prior DUIs, but those couldn't play a role in the trial because they happened more than five years ago. Right now, the look back period for a DUI in Kentucky um, is five years, which means if you've had a DUI and you haven't had another DUI in five years, those, pr those prior DUIs are wipe off your record. Senator Dennis Parrott knew 17-year-old Brianna Taylor. Brianna was a very energetic, bright, you know, just full of life young lady. Taylor died in June 2014 when Michael Todd Hilton blew through a stop sign and crashed into the car Taylor was driving. Monday, Hilton was found guilty of murder for the crash. For Parrott, this case highlighted the need for stricter DUI laws. Just graduated high school, life was great. And uh, to take that away from somebody that absolutely had no business on the road, you know, that's a fault of our of our laws, and, and, and we need to stop that. Brianna Taylor's dad, David, spoke about Hilton's prior DUIs after Monday's verdict. But we're all given chances, and then I play the game of baseball. Three strikes, you're out. That was his seventh. He was double the limit on my book. Everybody deserves a chance. And he's had, he's had a chance. Senator Parrott has filed paperwork for the Brianna Taylor Act. It would expand the state's DUI look back to 10 years. If it had been in place a year ago, Parrott says Brianna Taylor might still be alive. If it had already been 10, then he'd be in prison. So he would not have been on the road that evening, so that Sunday night. Senator Parrott does not expect there should be any trouble getting the Brianna Taylor Act passed. Reporting in Elizabethtown, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. Senator Parrott tried to get the Brianna Taylor Act passed during the past legislative session, but because of a mistake in the paperwork, it did not get through the General Assembly.